Good morning. It's Lisa with Soul Shine, and it's morning tea with me time. And today I have my tea and my at-home mug because I'm gonna do some at-home stuff. In fact, I have some shop stuff to do too, which is why I did my hair. I'm gonna film a few videos highlighting some new of the newest arrivals and um, clothing, as well as some new tea products. Um, but this morning I wanted to jump on and talk about worry because I fall victim to that all the time and I'm thinking that maybe somebody else out there does too. I can't be alone in this worry um, epidemic. So with all that's going on in the world, um, plus even the stuff that I'm not even aware of, um, this morning I got a phone call yet again reminding me, we've been trying to reach you for your car's warranty. Why are they so worried about my car warranty? And should I be worried about my car warranty? I mean, it's run out years ago, years and years. Um, but then you compound it with all the other worries, like will school start? I mean, if so, what does it look like? And with colleges, um, how is that gonna look for Maya and Cole? And will they go on campus? And will that affect the cost? And the, the compounding cost of two kids in college, and how are we gonna pay for that um, ultimately? And and then even the darker things like Sparrow Place, God bless them, with you know, human trafficking and that awareness. And then you worry that that's happening. And then you find out you know, from a friend this weekend that there's all kinds of dark arts where they scare little kids and sacrifice them and drink blood. And I'm like, what is going on in this world? And how many things could I possibly carry on my shoulders with worry and add to my prayers and ultimately it's just too much and it can overwhelm anybody and so what i do every day again and again sometimes multiple times a day is just cast it over because there's things we're not supposed to worry about um, nowhere in the bible does it say dig out all of the details and ponder them and think about them and scrutinize them and just over worry and overwork and rationalize um, and just try and seek reasoning. Nowhere does it say that in the big book. So, um, in fact, it says just to consider the birds. So just pay attention to how they flutter around and they always find food and they always have shelter. And nowhere do, do they worry. They just seek it, they find it, and it's there. Every day there's some new food for them. And that's what we're called to do, to consider the birds. So today fresh off of a phone call, worrying about my car warranty. Instead, I'm going to consider the birds. I, I hope that you could do the same today, not worry and rationalize and process so much. Just know that the big guy's in charge and he's handling all the heavy lifting and all we're called to do is, is just abide in him and like pray with him and lift the things to him that we that concern us including car warranties and college bills and dark arts and all the things of this world right now masks and no masks and rioting and protests and just consider the birds so i hope sometime today you can also consider the birds so take what you love and leave the rest i'm going to jump off here and do a little video jaunt at the shop and um, meet some friends later for lunch but I hope you know whatever you're doing today I'm sending you so much love and I hope you have a most marvelous day love you much mwah, mwah, mwah.